Hey guys, WeeWoo here. So I've decided to make a new mini-series about all the various little scenarios I've run into uh, through Eden and Zeus and, uh, you know, just to show off a, a few cool little things and whatnot, if I can English properly. So today's little video is going to talk about how to deal with duped assets uh, in case you either load them in a mission file or you didn't notice them, saved it, and uh, left and rejoined the file, and now you can't undo things to uh, fix it. Duped assets are essentially when you accidentally copied over a composition, and now everything in that composition has a copy of itself, and it makes it very difficult to work with. So as we can see here, this is a single dupe where, uh, you know, part of this entire giant hive tower here is all screwed up. So what we're going to do is uh, basically go through and fix it. So all you got to do is uh, I'm going to take a copy of it from the original mission file here and drag it out. But the first thing you want to do, whoo, that's laggy, is you want to take it all, uh, have it selected, and then add it as a layer. Now what this does is it moves all of the assets from the composition uh, from the rest of the stuff that might be spawned on this lovely map that you have made and separates it so that you can uh, do the sorting of the duped objects uh, and not mess with everything else on the map. Now, second thing, this is uh, where we have to get a little technical with the math is we have to go to the top of the layer. I'm going to select a few assets to help me kind of guide myself here. It wasn't really that helpful. Oh, yes, it was. And we start from the top. And when you spawn a new item, it goes to the bottom of the listing of the group of objects. So when you dupe something, uh, it'll basically be the second half of the objects here. So this is, if we were to select them all and do attributes, it tells us how many objects there are, 12. So all you have to do is select uh, six of them and if I hit delete now you're gonna see that this thing is still here because that's the last one that was selected Oop. and that has deleted all the duped objects so this is three blue slates so we uh blue slates blue slabs uh I can't English for shit but basically um that was six so I delete the bottom three this is six so I'm gonna delete the bottom three you can also delete the top three if you want but the actual duped ones would be the second half so it's a system I like to use just to keep my brain in order here. This is all groups of six, so all we have to do is delete three. I'm gonna speed up the footage because there's something else I wanna talk about when we get to the bigger groups. All right, so again, we got a big group of bastions here, so that's 20 objects. So now I need to make sure I select 10. I can right click and it'll tell me how many I have selected and I can just add to it. All right, now concrete ramp. Looks like we have a lot here because you can actually see them right there. They're used as little mini bridges to get around all of the little pie wall parts of the top so this is gonna be a lot of assets here that is 488 now half of 488 is 244 so we're gonna select the bottom one and scroll up a little bit and how many is that 184 okay so 244 minus 180 would be 60. So now I have to, after deleting 180, saw me uh, right click to get rid of the four part because I don't want to deal with uh, that level of arithmetic because I'm trash at arithmetic. Now we just need to get to 60. So that was 82, so I just unselected two. So now we have 80 selected. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This should be the remaining 60 to get us to, um, hold up. No, 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 I, I screwed something up. Um, to 100 and 280, but we still have four remaining. And you can always uh, fact check yourself if you think you're screwed up, because if I hit the delete button uh, and they're not duped assets, then they'll disappear. So we're at 284 now. If I go to this one, for example, which is still on the list here, and I can just actually just select it and move it, you'll see that it is no longer a duped asset. So that's how you can fact check yourself, because uh, if you are mathematically challenged like I am, uh, that'll really help you out. So 
Also, side note, don't use the Gothic 2 stories because they don't have any uh, textures, so I usually just delete those on site. AI can shoot through them. It gets a little messy, but that's besides the point. You got two ladders here, so we can just uh, delete one. And we're going to keep speeding up the footage. So funny enough, the mortar here isn't duped because there's only one. So when this uh, texture was made, someone placed this after they accidentally copy and pasted everything. So weird thing to do. I'm still going to delete it, but it's interesting how um, you can see other mission makers thought processes in this stuff. Anyway, going back. Okay, so another quick thing I want to say, make sure when you're selecting stuff and hitting the delete key, you don't have your mouse over something. Because if I want to select something here and hit delete, but my mouse is over something, it's going to delete that object instead. So you just got to be really careful about that. All right, now easy way to quickly check your work. Select all these, right click, tributes, 651. That wasn't part of the initial composition and also we did delete a mortar. And then a few extra things and 1,319. So it's a little under, but you got to remember, I did delete the whatchamacallit textures. This is partially in the ground because uh, the map change is why. But I deleted that one gothic texture and um, the mortar. But if it was a perfect dupe, uh, the final product will be half of what the other things were. And it's very close, so I think I got it right. But anyway, that is how you fix a dupe issue in an asset. So anyway... Uh, that is all I got for this little video. If you have a better way of cleaning up duped assets, please let me know in the comment section. If it is indeed better than my way, I will pin it and potentially do a video on it as well. Because we're all trying to get better here at making missions, because the better missions we can make in Arma 3 with each other, the more people are going to come to this game, and the better performing the missions will be. And I'd be more than happy to play everything I can. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers, and have a good one.